I've got over 30 subscribers. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and I will keep giving you tips and tricks on how to apply your makeup and DIY as well. I'm so happy. I really don't know what to say now, but I'm really grateful, honestly. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good, good. And please do not forget to share, like as well. Okay? Wow. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Anyways, this is Looks by Honey here and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a full face of first impression using a range of different products. If you want to know how I achieved this look, then please keep watching. I've done my eyebrows off camera. The first thing I'll be starting with for today is Simon and Tom Lips Booster. I've got big lips. I don't know why they sent this to me. I'm just going to pop it on my lips anyway. Yeah, it's doing something. It is. It's it's purplish. It's like a mint. Wow. Okay. The next thing I'll be going in with is eyeshadow base by Essence. Just gonna be applying that on my lips. Blend that. I'll be going in with my Naya brushes. It came with this. You use it to wash your brush. That's quite handy. That's nice. It came with a beauty blender. I'm going to be uh, wetting this in a moment. This is what it looks like. Very small. I don't know if it's going to increase in size. Open it. So this is going to be our next brush. And this is the paper it came with. These are all the brushes. So we'll be using them. The Beauty Blender. After wetting it, look how big it is. So I'm going to use that to blend that uh, shadow base. Set my eyeshadow base. I'm going with my Earl's Pawn Loose Face Powder. Just gonna take a bit there and set the shadow base properly just to make sure it's in place. Going in with my NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. I'll be going in with that shade as my transition, that one right there. And I'll be taking that brush right there. So I moved into that shade right there. When I open my eyes, I can't find that shade anymore. So just above my crease, just like that. Alright, so um, to blend that out, I'm going in with this small brush for here. This is supposed to be the Precise Eyeshadow Brush by Naya. Right back in that shade. I'm going to buff it out and I'm going in with the large eyeshadow brush. Now going back in that same shade with that same pencil brush. Now I'm not taking it into the inner corner, I'm just topping on the halfway of my lid coming back to the uh, outer view of my eyes I'm gonna go in with that shade right there that one right there I'm placing that on the outer V of my eyes with the same pencil brush I'm not taking it to the inner corner because we've already done the inner corner with the other first shade so I really don't want to take this one to the inner corner I'm stopping on the middle of my lid with the blending brush I'm gonna take off the harsh line I'm going right back into that same shade because I really want to create that wing Going in with my Meet Matte Tree Money by the BEM Cosmetics. I'm taking that shade right there. That one. That one right there. Just on top of that shade, we're using creating that wing. 
now going underneath that shade on the lead area underneath it you can see that underneath I'm still using it to smoke that to smoke it out just to blend that shade out not to leave any harsh line still going to do the same thing on the other eyes I'm going in with Maybelline color tattoo eye studio shade 05 internal gold using this flat brush right here this is a precise eyeshadow brush by Naya I'm going in with my makeup forever this is um, awesome metallic foil finish by makeup forever London this is how it came like that and with this little liquid and with this little tray as well and then I'm gonna be putting some of that liquid on that tray taking my precise brush dipping it into that liquid and then dipping it into the glitter and I'll apply that on top of that because I really want it to pop you know wow look at that wow I'm loving this I want to go back in with my eyeshadow which is the next one and I'm taking that shade and I'm applying it on the outer V of my eyes with that same pencil brush going right in with that shade that one right there from the meat matte trimony by the bum placing that on my outer V of my eyes blending it out so it's gonna connect to the other shade I'm still gonna use it to make a wing just a little wing you know to wing it out a bit you know, since we're using it as the liner now you wanna take it on top of your just like you don't, I'm not taking it into the inner corner, just on the outer V of my eyes, trying to take it to the middle of my lid, you know, just to give a bit of connection with that part and that part, you know. Going in with my blending brush just to blend out any harsh line, you know. Uh, the Balm palette, I'm going to top that black shade on the outer V. The mascara I'm using for today is by Remil. This is Candelise Reloaded Extremely Black and the number 003. Just gonna pop that on the top lashes. The lashes I'm using for today is Sea Shine by the Glam Collection and the Style 3 Day Mink Lashes. Wow, this lashes is beautiful. Look at that. Packaging is so nice. With this kind of look you don't want lashes that is too much because you won't be able to show your eyes you know, the shadows on your eyes will not be able to pop through the lashes so you want to go with lashes that are really scanty clean up time just clean up the primer i'm using for today is wet and wild foundation i'm using for today is wet and wild foundation in the shade beige desert medium dark just want to shake this oh it came with applicator can you see that that is so and it smells nice as well <laughs> the primer just sticks to your face it dries off so fast i really don't know why well 
it's okay I hope it's not gonna affect the foundation and I'm taking that Naya brush to blend that out I don't want to use the beauty blender let's try the brush I've never tried brush before hmm blends the foundation properly always bring foundation down to the neck area because you want to have a connection with everything you want everything to be connected your face your neck your ears you know the concealer I'm using for today is wet and wild in the shade light to medium beige and medium to deep tan I like to use two concealers first I'm gonna apply the light shade one I'm going in with the darker shade I'm just gonna use that to make a stroke underneath my eyes as well starting from that side drag it down there use it to shape that um, eyeshadow and underneath too because you want your concealer and your foundation to have the same connection blend that I'm going in with the sponge now to set that I'm going in with my Airborne Loose Face Powder. You really do not need to set this concealer because it just dries off and sticks to your skin, which I like. It's I'm loving this concealer. I think this is what I'm going to keep using. To dust that off, I'm going in with my Soft Focus Powder Brush by Naya. This is nice. The bronzer I'm using for today it's um, Bahama Mama bronzer. I'm taking the contour brush. I'm gonna use the tip of the brush to pinch it a little bit you don't really need to pinch this brush just use it apply on the side of your nose just use a bit of that bronzer to dust off that white bit there the highlighter I'm using for today is uh, Mary Lou minimizer by the bomb cosmetics and I'm using that contour brush to apply this Going in with the NYX eyeshadow palette and I'm taking that shade right there. That one there. I'm applying it on uh, underneath my lower lash line. Using that um, eyeshadow blending brush to do that. Taking the pencil brush and I'm taking that shade from the BAM Cosmetics. That sh dark shade over there. Mixing it up with the black a little bit just to connect it with that outer V, you know, just to get that connection. I'm not bringing it to the inner corner, just on the outer V of my eyes. On my waterline, I'm going in with the pure white pencil and the number 071 by Remel. So we're done with that. For our blush, I'm going in with a sleek palette. Uh, this is Face Foam Light 373. This is Contouring and Blush Palette. I'm going to take the blush out of that, put that on my inner corner, that blush right there. I'm going to be using that on the side of my cheek as well. My lipstick, I'm going in with the KKW by Kylie Cosmetics. And uh, when you take it out of the pack, this is how it is. It came with this as well. And look at the shade. So I'm taking that one right there. That one right there. I wanted to use this one, you know, 
to be on a cool path but i think i'm gonna go in with that shade anyway let's try this shade first hmm not really <laughs> I'm not really the fan of this, so I'm gonna go in with that shade right there. So the two lipstick I used is one is Kiki, the other one is Kime. The setting spray I'm using for today is Mac Prep and Prime Setting Spray. That's it. I'm just gonna pop that spray on my face all right guys this is the finished look hope you like the tutorial I used all those products to achieve this look this is the painful part the judgment I don't like it but I have to uh, this eyeshadow it's well pigmented I have to struggle with it it's fine the next eyeshadow it's very nice I like it because um, it's blendable the Maybelline this is quite stiff but um, when you apply it you don't need to start a thick layer you start with a thin layer you just continue building it up now with the makeup revolution this is the bomb I think you guys should try this it's affordable and it's nice now the foundation when you apply this you have to be very fast with it it reminds me of the Urban Decay one it dries faster more than the Urban Decay one it's full coverage it covers all your um, imperfections wet and wild concealer my goodness when you apply this to your face just immediately start blending it because if you allow a minute to go by my goodness it's gonna you're gonna find it difficult blending it out essence <laughs> the eyeshadow base the same thing with the wet and wild no different when you apply this just blend it out immediately you don't even need to set it even the one of the wet and white concealer you don't need to set it spawn loose powder this is nice this is translucent it will be difficult for a dark skin girl to apply this because it's white but if you have a darker shade it's the best the Bahama Mama bronzer this is beautiful look how that is you think it's not pigmented but it is BAM the highlighter is nice this is like a daytime application this is something that you can put on your face anytime it is nice you can see it it's there you can see it all over it this kkw lip gloss it's a matte lip stick and when you apply it you have to work immediately with it after some minutes not even some minutes after some seconds it becomes sticky slick blush it is very nice i love it it is beautiful this beauty blender it's not like the one of real technique maybe after a while i'll know how to work with this because it's at this point it's very difficult for me to use brushes are very nice you've got all the brushes that you need not really all when it comes to the pencil brush it's i don't know it's very difficult to use maybe because it's the first time i'm using it other than some highlighter brush it's not there the lashes this lashes is so lovely look at that and it's affordable please go get this lashes the Remel mascara it's nice you can see that but the lipstick is uh, connected to the blush and to my background <laughs> maybe by MN it means the meaning of the MN is me now generation 2 this is a perfect eye and lip liner it's nice the eyebrow i did it off camera because i know eyebrow takes ages to get it done i'm done with this look and i'm done with this product i will link everything in the description box below so make sure you check that out okay thanks for watching bye love you all